I know it's Friday night, a lot of folks want to get home, so I'm just going to try to get this over. Uh, the next gentleman who's going to present an award has a reputation within the union industry of being one of those guys that will pretty much do anything for his union. He's a representative of the International Chemical Workers Union, and he's been involved with them since 1990. I'd like to introduce you folks to a gentleman that I've gotten to know over the last few days, Brother Mark Carrollton Roof. It's a pleasure uh, to be here today for me to introduce a good friend of mine and a colleague for 25 years. Of course, that would make me three years old when I met him. But, uh, you may know Rich as the uh, International Vice President and Regional Director for the United Food Commercial, Commercial Workers Union. Uh, more importantly, Rich is a person who never loses sight of what the objectives are in life. On many occasions, you'll hear Rich ask the proverbial question, have we helped those who need help today? And that's, in essence, that's who Richie Whalen is. He's a guy who's committed to his family, to his friends, to his community. And as you'll find uh, over time, you'll see that he's committed to the community of Coney Island when he's needed most. We're here tonight to raise funds and uh, sustain and su support the after school program offered by Coney Island Gospel Assembly. I'll tell you that uh, Rich knows firsthand and understands very well the importance of community programs. He has a nice family, his wonderful wife Eileen and four beautiful kids have been involved in their community for years. Rich uh, has been involved with organized basketball for the kids for years. He coached all of them. Uh, you know, you, you talk to the kids, they may not be great. They may not be too happy that their father was uh, <laughs> <laughs> was coaching him for all those years, but he did a good job. Uh, again, I'd like to emphasize that Rich is a person who's understanding when it comes to the great work that we all do and that you've done here. And uh, he supports you and the work, and most importantly, the work that you've agreed to do going forward together. It's my honor and it's my pleasure to introduce a good friend to me, and I'm sure to all of you in the future, Richard Whalen. Thank you very much, uh, Mark, for that very kind introduction. Mark uh, and I have been, uh, he was my, uh, I was his local president when I uh, worked for the for about 17 years. Uh, and he was uh, my uh, union president when I left at night, but I still was a member of that local company. Uh, Mark uh, has been president uh, prior to his uh, uh, being the uh, international uh, representative. Uh, he was uh, re-elected to that position, I think, six or seven times. So. Mark's a, a good guy and he works for the members of the chemical workers who are part of the UFCW. So Mark, thank you for those uh, kind of remarks. Uh, I'd first like to thank uh, my union, the UFCW, because that's really the reason I'm here and the people that work for the UFCW care about communities. Uh, we probably, uh, over the years, probably don't care, haven't cared enough, but we are, for the last several years, uh, interested in being a partner with communities to help build good jobs in those communities, just like uh, uh, Coney Island. Uh, for too long, uh, and you can see it on Wall Street today, uh, what good is it if we build minimum wage jobs in this country? What good is it? Yeah. We see what Wall Street and the people that build these uh, big stores and bi these big businesses, what do they offer the community? They offer minimum wage in a dead end street for the communities that our people live in. That has got to change. And we have got to partner with communities to say, we're not going to put up with these companies making multi billion dollars and the community and the workers get silch. Those days are over. And I commend. 
commend the community. I want to thank uh, the Pastor Connie, uh, Sister Cran, Pastor Mobley uh, for selecting me. Probably a, an undeserving person, but I want to thank you. Uh, the, uh, the commentary on uh, Jack uh, San Filippo uh, really uh, sort of touches my heart. Uh, he, he uh, brother uh, Jack, must have been a wonderful guy, and the, uh, the legacy here uh, sort of makes my heart uh, probably uh, like many of you that knew him uh, feel strengthened that uh, such a person was here and that his legacy continues. Uh, I have a three-page speech. I didn't read any of it yet, but I don't uh, really plan on it. Um, I just want to congratulate the other honorees um, and uh, commit to you tonight that the United Food and Commercial Workers will work with the community, will work with the church to bring good jobs, good jobs, not, not only the buildings they put up, not only the buildings they put up, but the people that are left when those, that building is done and those businesses are in place, that those jobs have got to support families, uh, people and their families. 